Guys, so today I have nobody to help me pushing the buttons to start the video, so I'm doing it myself as my wife and my daughter went for a small vacation to the south of Russia where my wife's parents are situated at the moment. So now I'll just go quick to the topic itself and it's interesting one today as you know even bad things turn to good ones I guess almost always and especially for one category of people I will try to emphasize this detail in the end of the video if I will not forget you can skip to the end of course right away without listening all this stuff or you can bear with me and listen to it so anyway you will find out what kind of people i mean and now let's go to the free of the bad and ugly things happen to me which turn completely to the good ones even the best ones i would say so the first one was like around 15 17 years ago when those crooks who tried to get the money from people via email and internet were just only a kind of spinning of like starting their crazy business and not a lot of people knew about them so I was one of them who didn't know and all my friends didn't know obviously because when I shared what they sent me an email like something like you know that crazy guys like you or i have like 15 millions 15 million dollars and i would like to give part of this to you because like you know like somebody died and now it's like inheritance and, and there are different 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 kind of stories like princes and princesses or whatever rich people somewhere in africa or some other country Anyway, I want to say and share publicly without any shame, even though I regret, of course, that I had these uh, principles before. Uh, but I not only believed and trusted those crazy guys, but I would even uh, consider kind of breaking the law to, to do it. If it would be real, then you would still break the law because you kind of agree to sign some paper and say that you are not who you are anyway that's one bad thing right away already out of the box and i am so glad that i do not uh, consider doing even consider doing anything like this now but the thing i wanted to uh, point here is that when i started chatting with them and sending like emails back and forth and even like create some documents whatever following their process of course i never give, gave them money i was not stupid enough to do that like when they finally asked for ten thousand dollars to bring it to um, somewhere like a country in europe i forgot neither netherlands probably and but i was considering maybe come there and try to do something or whatever uh, I actually had a very rich friend, businessman from another country around around that time, around me, and I asked him, I showed him paper and, and he right away looked at them and said, ah, it's a scam, they just want to use you for this $10,000 no more. That's interesting because he didn't know uh, about these popular things in, in, in internet and uh, starting uh, up. Uh, but he, because he was very experienced and all businessmen just could see this right away, just reading the paper itself. But anyway, so uh, up around that time, I decided not to do it. But in the same time, my friend from another country in Europe were, was helping me to get the visa, to Schengen visa, to go to Europe anyway, when I was still considering to go there. And what I wanted to really emphasize here that even though this story was bad and I spent some time, some money anyway, I even went to, from the Soviet Russia, from Kislovodsk city to Moscow, uh, using airplane, um, back and forth during one day to the Swiss bank to open account in the Swiss bank because part of the story was like, you need to open 
good account, like in a trusted bank where we can transfer money, like millions of dollars, blah, blah, blah. Of course, all this foolishness. But anyway, actually the Swiss bank did not even open the bank account for me. And I spent a lot of money flying to Moscow and back during one day. And we didn't really have an, a, a lot of money back then. And why, but how all of this craziness turned to good? The thing is that if well, it was not for this crazy story, I would probably either never, either not so soon, would start the process of getting a visa to go to Europe. I, would ne I never left Russia before that time. It was around 2002, 2003, as I said, like about 17 years ago, as it is 2020 now. And I was dreaming about go abroad and I, I only went to some countries like where there were not countries when it was part of the USSR like Georgia, Armenia and Latvia and of course some a lot of cities in, in Russia like Moscow, St. Petersburg and others but I never actually traveled outside of Russia officially like to the, another country and I wanted to see my friend there in Norway my best friend actually and finally when I got the visa and I decided not to go to Netherlands and not to do anything with these guys when I already cleared so, so clearly that they are crooks and uh, bad guys I just went to Norway and uh, actually God managed all things that, uh, so well that I actually I got some extra job around that time, got 500 euros as a salary as far as I can remember. It was huge money for me back then. It was enough to go to Norway and back and even had some left. And it was awesome. I finally went outside of Russia and I visited Finland and Sweden and Norway and for 10 days or something like that. So that's story number one. Now try to not make this video very long and go to the story number two uh it was a time around 20 oh uh, sorry sorry 12 or 13 years ago like 2007 2008 when i and my partners my friends we were making a lot of money now not a lot of a lot of money but it was quite a lot of money for us back then and it was pretty much passive income when we built some websites and we were building more we even hired people who were putting content to the those websites and uh, websites some of the content was, was unique some was not some was interesting some was not so we didn't really care much about content and about websites themselves though uh, um, because we cared about uh, selling the advertising links from those sites because we just use the system which paid us for when we place the links on our websites and because i was a web developer i did it easily and uh, we used some systems um, cms systems so uh, um, like uh, having said all of that i want to to um, make a point that it was very easy to make a lot of websites put the links and make money so we almost did nothing it was a very silly job silly project like making money out of uh, if like space whatever and we were getting more money and we were making more sites i did not study anything new i did not really work hard i just enjoyed life but then one day the search engine the most popular search engine in russia which they really consider as a main one uh, put our, almost all our websites to the blacklist which actually stopped us from being able making money of the selling links by selling the links because if your site is in the blacklist depreciated in the search etc etc it's losing uh, everything like uh, rating whatever uh, points whatever uh, in that kind of system and then nobody's gonna pay you money for those links on this bad websites so we lost almost all our income gradually like pretty quickly and it pushed me to go back to programming actually because i had a long break from programming like 13 years and i basically used html css to make websites if you know what i'm talking about but it's not really programming 
And then we use the CMS systems, which just were popping out sites like crazy, and it was not a hard thing to do. You have no need really to use a brain to do that. Um, and then I learned C Sharp, then PHP, and other programming languages, later JavaScript, and it, all the situation, bad situation, pushed me to do it. To, to, to go to next level, to start making websites for money again, like just to sell the, my services. And you know what? For this last 10 years, even the first five, six years after that happened, I made much more money. Not the passive income, but still actively selling my services. And now uh, for the last five years, even working for the big companies and making more and more money because I learned that stuff 12 years ago. Maybe if I, they would not stop us, I would never learn this stuff. Maybe we would make some money, uh, even more uh, than I did now. I don't know, maybe less. But I, I think it would be less anyway. But even if it would be more, I would never, never now exchange my knowledge, my experience in the programming languages and um, web development and generally in software architecture etc etc all, all the knowledge and experience I got for the last 10 years I would never exchange it for just passive income from a silly links selling stuff so that's another bad thing we didn't like it at the time it was like bankruptcy uh, but it's all turned to good to really good and the last thing but not least I wanted to share uh, was even longer time ago and it's actually spread on a long line uh, what I want to say the first one uh, the bad one with crooks it was like during the five months whole thing was during the five months when I could see the bad things turn to the good one the second one about programming languages and uh, sites and links it was maybe around five or six years when I could really see the benefits uh, like uh, starting this um, and learning those languages when the, the bad things turn to the good thing and I really saw that I got I actually got degree about that time and I got jobs and money much more money and more experience so it was about five years and the gap between the bad thing and ugly thing and the good outcome out of that bad thing but the last thing I wanted to share it really took around 20 years or more than 15 years to see something good but I saw some good signs and maybe 5-10 years later but really really good sign, really good benefits only about 20 years later so what, it, what was it? it was the problem with my health actually because of my eating style I ate junk food a lot like crazy time sugar everything like that when I was a child I was a child teenager and was about 20 years old still child of course <laughs> even I got even though I got married when I was 20 years old I was a really really big child and I ate, ate this junk food a lot big time and so very, pretty quickly I started feeling such an ache around my stomach and even wake, wake, it was normal for me to wake up during the night a few times and uh, it was a few times a year when it's all, you know, like it was could go to remission and then came back and I didn't really um, change anything, maybe only for one or two weeks I would change for something more gentle food or blah blah blah. But then I went back to junk food, etc. So, uh, finally I start thinking about maybe I need to change the food style, like eating style, blah, blah, blah. I didn't have enough knowledge, I didn't have experience. So it took me many years, maybe 10 years, 5 years bef before I start really changing something in the diet. Then it took me more years to start eliminating some things like sugar, and some bread and bad things but then I was coming back to things again like if I would stop sugar itself but I would uh, not be able to stop uh, cakes and cookies for a long time I was coming back so it was like five years ago I tried really hard to do it all and, and then it could be uh, only for two or three months and then I were coming back to my old habits unfortunately and I still had these problems with stomach while after while but about three years ago, I finally switched to the keto diet, which I never regret, and I still um, 
on this diet. It's not even diet, it's like lifestyle, eating style, and it's great. So more than two years already doing this and enjoying it. And so now it helped me to not only stop sugar, but anything which uh, had sugar in it and bread and all this stuff, all this carbohydrates uh, and um, like refined sugar, uh, car refined carbohydrates and all this stuff. And uh, now I enjoy life. I feel myself better. I'm 40, almost 42 years old. I feel myself better than when I was 22 years old. I never had any bad feelings, bad aches in the stomach or digestive system. Uh, I'm not perfect and I, I do not have perfect health, but I feel myself very good and much better. And if it would not be for that uh, time when I ate a lot of junk food, maybe I would never turn to this good eating style. So that bad thing which happened to me and my craziness and I ate all this stupid food um, now turned me to much in much earlier age to the good style if I would only experience the problem when I was 50 or 60 or 70 years old it could be much um, it could be already late when I got diabetes or something else but now I feel good I don't have diabetes maybe I had some insulin resistances still have it but it's improving I hope and I'm very glad that that bad thing turned to good. I remember my grandmother, she's so cool, she always told me, used to tell me when I was going to the college and say goodbye from the train, train, hello, goodbye, great, goodbye, mother and father. And she was screaming to, uh, to me on, the, on that living train, hey, Ark, or Kari, like they, uh, use, they call me in Russia. Hey, uh, uh, don't forget, Whenever you come to the college, to the school, first thing, first, like, buy some eggs, butter, uh, something else, like, actually, good food, which have um, uh, fat and proteins, not carbohydrates. That's so funny. And I didn't like that food back then. And I was thinking, like, grandmothers just telling me strange things. I would never buy eggs and butter. I would just go buy Pepsi or uh, cookie and uh, chocolate <laughs> stuff like that I mean sweet chocolate actually chocolate is good for you but without sugar so anyway it was so funny now uh, she is already in heaven and but she would be glad to see probably that what I'm doing now finally buying eggs a lot of eggs and butter and eating that and other good food and salads so as I promised you and I didn't forget to tell you in the end of this video what the category of people are actually enjoying these things like turning bad things to the good more than others. I, I'm sure a lot of people are enjoying this and this is very good when bad things turn to the good things but about specific people actually written in the Bible uh, it's, as, uh, it's emphasized that if you love God that God can turn anything bad happen to you to the good. And so I even, not only, I don't want to say that I love God so much or that I always do good things and I made a lot of mistakes, but I'm glad that God even let me uh, have those mistakes which were turned to the good ones. So sometimes I think God allowed some bad things in our life, not like pushing us to that, but just allowed us in our stupidness to do something bad but if we believe in him and trust him as as we can have faith uh, at least for me it worked a lot of times as christians we uh, really can enjoy a lot of times not always of course nothing is guaranteed it's up to you and up to god up to circumstances sometimes other people but a lot of times you can really enjoy that and if you are the Christian and you enjoy it or if you are not and you want to criticize that or if you uh, want to say anything else I would like to see your comments actually I hate all these things in YouTube and uh, other platforms like when people say like this video or put something in the comments blah blah to use they are using this for of course for marketing or for like, developing their traction on their channel. I understand that. I don't want to do that because I believe people are smart enough to do everything by themselves. They know better. But in this particular case, I'm really, really interested if you had these situations where something bad would turn to good, 
and you can share it any way you like you can send me email i'll try to put my email there and in the description you can share here in the comments you can find me somewhere else and i'll just enjoy reading or listening or watching your stories and when god put the bad things to good or as you can believe the universe or whatever or it just happened by itself i personally believe it's always god but so up to you i'm not pushing anything i don't like this religious stuff and um, saying that I'm I know better I believe I, I know what I know that's all I wanted to say today and encourage you hopefully with all these free crazy bad things in my life which turn to the nice good super good things now I need to uh, get up and go and push the button again see you next time